Hello and welcome to the Additive Guru. This is Matthew Sizemore and I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Intop today. So first you're going to load in your file, go up to the top left and click import. Locate your file wherever you have it stored. Today we're going to be using 40 millimeter cube. So pop that in there. Everything looks good. Now we're going to go up here to the lattices tab and we're going to be doing a volume lattice today. And after you click that, you'll notice it pops up in your left hand notebook. It says volume lattice, and it's asking for some stuff like the volume and the unit type and the fill type. So the volume is asking for what you want the lattice to be made of. So we're going to use our model here. You can actually just click and drag it just like that, quick and easy. And then the unit type you have some choices for. This is what the um, structure of the lattice is going to look like. My favorite is the Kelvin cell, so we'll use that today. There's lots of options to choose from though. And then in the fill type, um, there's only three options. There's centroid inside, all inside, and all touching. Um, I use all touching because it gives extra on the outside to work with. All right. So why don't you go ahead and stop the video and do this now. Alright, once you have that, next thing we want to do is we want to trim this lattice so it's the size of the box. As you can see here, it's bigger than our box is right now. So go up here, click on the, um, the search box and type in trim and it should pop up trim lattice. You want to select that and it'll put down a new operation here. Now it's asking for the lattice name. So our lattice name up here, as you can see, is lattice zero. So if you type that in, it'll give you a drop down with some options there. And then the body. So the body is the name of your square. So the, the name of our square is mesh zero. And as you can see, it pops that up once you start typing. Very helpful little tool. So after you have that selected, you want the lattice to remain inside. That's just to make sure that the lattice that it cuts off does not save to the outside. So if you had it selected outside, it would only save the lattice on the outside of the box. Today we're going to be using lattice to remain inside, so we save all the lattice inside the cube. And the feature tolerance, we're just going to set that at one millimeter. All right, now that we got that, we can get rid of this one. And if we hide this box here, you can now see that it's completely lattice to the size of our box. All right, so now we got a nice looking square lattice. One of the last things we need to do is we need to give it some thickness because right now it's just wires. So we're going to go up here to the top right, click on this thicken lattice button. It's the one that looks like a tube. And now it's asking for two things. It's asking for your lattice name and the thickness you want. So the lattice name is going to be the name of our last operation, which was trim lattice. And as you can see here, that's lattice one. So we'll type that in, lattice one. Right. And then the thickness is going to be, let's try two millimeters. Yeah, it looks a little bit big. No worry, we can change it. Let's try one millimeters. All right, that's looking pretty good now. It's about the right size for what you want. Um, you'll just have to choose whatever size you think is best for the project you're working on. But that looks good to me. Now, if you want to change the type of lattice you have, you can always go back up here to the top and change the unit type. So if I want to change it, all I do is I, I pick a new unit type and it generates a new lattice almost immediately. And there's lots of these to choose from. Um, I suggest you play around with it, find which one you like, find one that will work best for you. Um, this diamond one is pretty, pretty useful. But like I said, there's lots of options to choose from, so feel free to mess around with it. Um, that's all for today. Thank you.